Good morning, everybody. We are here for day number. I forgot what day it is. Day two. Day two total. Uh, day three of the videos. <laughs> Today's the big day. Today's when we qualify, practice, and I think one heat race is today, right? Yep, one heat race. Yes, yeah, so two two practice sessions, one qualifying session, one heat race. So it's today's when we tie everything in together. Um, luckily, we've had some advice. We have uh, taken it after I was completely wrong. Um, you do have to change the chassis around a little bit. Just a little bit. To make it work. Um, but, got a coffee this morning. Ruben's just cooking breakfast. Thanks for Chris. That's his RV in the background for letting me crash there. Hopefully he's here today. He's been a, he's been MIA. He's been a bum. Try to get Miguel out here tomorrow, and then trying to get Gabe and Stuart out here Sunday. So the whole crew will be here to watch Junior send it in the finals. The chef. There you go, baby. So the mechanic won't die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. Uh, remember, catch you on track. And when in doubt, just send it. So here we are out for first practice. And so all the changes we did, Rubens uh, Jr. was a lot happier with the cart. Uh, all the changes did work. Uh, we were told to stay around the 16,000 RPM range for the cart. But we were having an issue with it uh, revving up that high. Uh, you'll see later on uh, why we were having an issue. Um, basically, just learning a big learning curve on my end uh we still hang out the egg pro bin so it was just a lot of stuff that we had to learn from the 206 um so definitely we had to figure out some things uh touch up on some things and then uh uh best basically i'll let you guys know later in the video of what we did what we changed and what we found the best rpm range for this motor to be once we fixed the issue of it warming up but as you can see we're only running like three quarters throttle throughout the whole track because anytime you smash the gas pedal down, the motor shuts off. So, uh, Cart was handling a lot better. He has had to work on his line. Uh, he was still driving it, uh, turning in too early, turn exiting too uh, early. So, uh, he had to clean up some of that line. But we had a, a much a better handling cart. We just didn't have the power plant to be there yet. So, we were still working on that. We were getting that ready to go. Uh, definitely we were, it was in the works uh, we were definitely gonna gonna figure that out and uh, we had some help and we took their advice and I learned a ton in that uh, good 45 minutes of them chewing my butt out in a very nice way of all the things I was doing wrong uh, to the power plant and then uh, the tuner came over and told me how to tune it uh, properly so uh, shout out to everybody that helped me on that department so I can make junior a better driver more competitive But we weren't doing that bad. Uh, nothing was falling off the cart for sure yet uh, It was just different just make sure a good habit go over all your bolts Make sure everything stays aligned in this class because things do shift around even the two of six class So we were just gaining the right way, but just tightening it up slowly so practice went out of the way. Can't really give you any, much of an update. Uh, we were having motor issues again. It's supposed to rev up to 16K, but for some reason, anytime he goes wide open throttle, the motor motor has been cutting off. I have an idea, but I'm not saying it on camera. Yeah, we have an idea. We're hopefully got it fixed, wired out. Um, all the setup changes we did, they worked. They worked. <laughs> so. We'll go over a rundown of that a little bit later. Uh, hopefully when we get finally full power, we'll be able to see uh, what the car can really do. I mean, we're running like three quarter throttle the whole time. If not, so that needs to be fixed. Once we get the motor, the driver has been working on his line, so he's getting there. Uh, we just need the power plant. Chassis works, Mercedes power works plant. <laughs> Mercedes sandbag we have been sandbagging for a day and a half now yeah we're still sandbagging I think. yeah we're still sandbagging i think maybe <laughs> he's not pushing down hard enough <laughs> so practice two underway uh 
we did some adjustments thinking that we had fixed the issue with it uh with it revving out we had not still fixed the issue with it uh revving out um but we were working on setup we were doing some slight changes to that still uh basically we were still having issues with the motor so he was back to three quarters throttle most of the time um so i added a tooth for qualifying hoping that would help it out but then uh someone came over uh chad and uh discovered that I had a whole bunch of things wrong um i was choking the motor i was killing it so chad came over fixed a whole bunch of stuff that I had set up incorrectly um and basically told me this is the way it should be done this is the way that it needs to be done so the motor can breathe um so i was really hindering junior for almost a total of five practice sessions when it came to the engine i was uh i was uh, making sure he had great throttle control so <laughs> it was a big learning curve but for qualifying we were going to get it down we were going to send it and uh definitely it was going to be a good one for qualifying once we fix all the issues now out for qualifying the motor is fine the issues are fixed he has full power and wow that we pick up some time uh cart handled well uh he was really quick in the bus stop section um he pulled off an excellent lap the best we could have pulled off all weekend was a 39.5 he ends up pulling off a 38.8 uh we were just uh, half a second off the leaders now uh three tenths off the cart in front of us uh that was just minor minor driver adjustment so but we picked up a whole bunch of ton uh it was a it was great to watch great to see and uh, exciting to see it for sure now on to the heat race after qualifying uh i saw that the motor was revving up to like 16 2. i should have listened to rocco and tom um they were telling me to rev it up even higher uh that they were revving it up to close to 17k uh, i was listening to other individuals they're saying no keep it around 16. so basically what we found out is i dropped the tooth right so it wouldn't rev so high that screwed junior so <laughs> The mechanic was not doing a very good job this weekend, all right? Um, you have to add some teeth to the cart. Uh, you want it to rev. They say max RPMs is 16, but the cart will breathe way better if you add some teeth. Uh, here, he wasn't even really getting near to 16K. I think the highest we got was like 15.7. Um, so definitely, we didn't have anything coming out of the turns, uh, which killed the motor and turn they were starting to slowly drive away um, he was still having to work on his line he was still in this class it looks like you want to carry a little bit more speed to the turns get the car rotated better uh, help pick up the inside tire uh, there are some times that he does a really good job but we struggled all weekend uh, entering the showcase uh, keeping the cart tight uh, it would just start washing out from time to time uh, I had added caster to help him pick, pick up the inside tire better uh, and uh, rotate the car but that wasn't helping so really um this right here this run we went all we did was add a little bit of caster and a gear change and we lost a whole bunch of time but that was my fault because i had gone backwards instead of forward so uh we were definitely moving in the right direction figuring it out uh he was getting better but um overall we had to tighten up my side of things and his driving had gotten better as well uh, throughout the long run. Uh, they ended up pulling away from us. Uh, he just kept falling back. But this is the first time all weekend that we have full power. And he was consistently running a tenth off his fastest lap time. So um, it was it was right there. It was coming together. All the heartache and all the hard work we had gotten, it was starting to fall, uh, come in together. Uh, Rocco got around him here and just sent it rocco was stupid fast he got shoved at the beginning of the race so we were just having a hard time to get get the cart to do what we wanted to do um it was just a, a, a failure not failure it was just a big learning curve for both of us it was so much information but we had to thank everybody that helped out we had to thank matt uh chad uh thanks to two jerks uh seafood 
Uh, thanks to Chris. Thanks to Rubens. Um, thanks to uh, EK Chains. We put a brand new chain on it after we uh, threw the chain in uh, second practice because the sprocket holder decided to move on itself. Uh, thanks, Bole, for all the food. Uh, I have to thank everybody that uh, came together to make this weekend happen. Even though that we struggled, it was a good weekend of racing. Uh, we learned a lot. Thanks, Rock Cup, for putting on this amazing event. Uh, the next video, you'll see us start moving even more in the right direction. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned to the next one, and we'll catch you guys on track soon enough. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy. Forgot to mention, with some penalties, we ended up P4. So, that was a victory for us in the end, baby. Woo! Well guys, we've been working our butt off. Uh, sorry that we have not recorded that much. Uh, we had to swap an axle out. Uh, the old one was uh, a little bent, which is giving a little hot mid corner. And then uh, we adjusted the steering to slow it down a little bit. We actually picked up a whole bunch of time. Uh, some of it was due to my fault. Uh, right here, this air box come with some covers on. And don't don't put those covers on. It'll choke the motor. That was my bad. And then uh, make sure that this doesn't have a crease in it at all. And then uh, we've been playing around with gearing now to uh, try to fine tune the gearing and figure it out. Uh, you gotta run seat struts on the cart. Get the cart to jack and rotate. And you need to put 25 millimeter spindles on the front to get enough front bike. So those are the changes that you need to do if you want to run the 206 chassis. At least for us, uh, we picked up between motor, chassis adjustments. So far, we've gone from 39.5s, our fastest, down to 38.7. Uh, Renee here, P1, shifter master, yeah, from start to finish. That was a good race. Thank it was you. a fucking badass. Fun. Fun. That was good. It was a badass not, race. Not easy to have the national champ on your ass. Oh no, all race two. Uh, Jordan Muster was on his butt. Renee was able to hold him off, pull off the win. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on the car. I'm gonna give the the motor back to the uh, to the builder so you can look at it again. It keeps breaking up on the top end. I've uh, got most of that figured out, but it's still breaking up. Junior was doing fine at the very beginning of the race, but then the motor started acting up and we fell back pretty bad. So we're gonna see if we can get it fixed because uh, chassis there. He's driving better. We just gotta tie it in all together now. So, catch you guys on track. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks, guys.